Welcome back again, fellow dropshippers, to the Viking Drop tutorial, setting up your account settings. Here we are going to go look at the left side of your Viking Drop tabs. Let's go to settings here. Once you are under the settings tab, you will see that it is highlighted for easy navigation to know exactly where you are in each tab. As well, you can look at the top of your page right above your name and see where the home icon is right after that icon will be an arrow and then it will state what tab you are on. Now let's get started. First you want to remember once all these boxes are set they will stay the same for every listing that you list to eBay. Now looking at location again you want to make sure that it is set for multiple since you are a dropshipper your items will be shipping from all over the world. Your default should always say ebay.com now moving on to your default break-even, profit percentage, and quantity. Starting with break-even percentage, this box I always use 19 to 21 percent to make sure that I am covering all my fees, which would include taxes, PayPal, and eBay fees. If you have other fees, then you would definitely want to make sure that that percentage is calculated into this box as well. Profit percentage, this box is what you choose your profit margin to be. If you want a 6% profit, then you will put in 6.00, as I have done here, and so on. Quantity. You will always want to at least have a quantity of two items available of the item that you are selling. One biggest reason for that is because your listings are being listed as good till canceled. If you have at least two items available, it will show in your eBay that when one item sells, that one item sold, and there is only one item still available making buyers think they better get to this item at this amazing price before the last one is gone. Now another reason being is that when you have at least a quantity of two items available it will reset itself at two items when both have sold and you're only paying for one insertion fee versus every time one item sells. Now moving on to template. You can upload your own personal templates that you may have, or you can simply use one that is provided here. Make sure to test your personal uploaded templates to ensure that they are user-friendly with Viking Drop in your HTML coding. Here we have the box to check to enable or disable non-prime items. Remember, non-prime items will take longer to ship versus prime items that ship in one to two business days, ensuring that the customer will get their items purchased quickly and in the time frame allotted in your business policies that you have set up inside of eBay. Your page dimensions are set up automatically as a default, so no need to change these unless you feel that you are an expert in changing these dimensions. Personally, I do not recommend doing so. At this point, review your boxes that everything has been entered in correctly as you would like and then click Save. Future reference, you can go back at any time and change these boxes and change the settings to something else preferable if you choose. Now let's scroll down to the bottom of this settings page and we can see that we need to make sure that our business policies were imported when you authorized your eBay token to import all your items from eBay. If you do not see that your business policies were imported over, you will need to go here where it says refresh policies and click that link. It will then refresh your business policies that you have in place on eBay and import them over. In a case that your policies are not imported, you need to go to eBay and make sure that you have business policies set up in your eBay account. If you do not, you will need to do that and then repeat these steps to get them imported to Viking Drop. I want to thank you all for taking a moment to watch this training tutorial on how to set up your account settings. I hope that you will join us in our next training tutorial covering Choose your plan tab.